Hundreds of people lined up this morning for free food. FarmShare teamed up with the city of Miami to help families in need. As CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez reports, fire rescue had to help some people standing in the long lines because of the heat. Something I have to do to feed the kids. Brittany Payne, a mother of three, stood in line for hours with her baby boy. How has it been? Very hot, very tiring. Brittany joined more than a thousand Miami residents under the scorching sun and heat. It's a blessing because if it wasn't for them, I, we, I couldn't eat today. Farmshire partnered up with Commissioner Francis Suarez for a massive free food giveaway in the neighborhood in need. And we're kind of a city of, of two tales, a tale of the haves and the have-nots. Uh, we're a city that's growing tremendously. Uh, we have a lot of investment, but we also have a very poor city. And uh, as you can see, the, the need is far greater than the, than, the, than the supply that we have to meet that need. From up above, you can see the amount of people in line, more than a thousand, many of them elderly. One man was so overcome by the heat, he had to be treated and transported. But for all the others who managed to tough it out, they say it's something they have to do. Is it something that you ever thought that you would have to be doing? Not in my wildest dream. I, I never thought that I would come to this. And so far, I got vegetables, because I'm a family of two, two. I got vegetables, I got juices, I got the chicken. I got the card. And that's what they'll be taking with them to a home where a box full of food makes a huge difference. If it wasn't for them today, would you have food in your refrigerator? No, not right now. And the organizers did try to make the situation as comfortable as possible for everyone standing in line handing out water and fans. Now, they did have enough food for a thousand families, and by 11:15 this morning, all the food had run out. There were still people in line. They were clearly upset. Commissioner Suarez says that he apologizes and he understands. And he sees that there's a tremendous need here in the city of Miami. They are working on trying to do this again and soon. In Miami, Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.